Welcome back subscribers. It is the best damn barbecue ever. Click that like and subscribe. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do cedar plank cod and we're gonna start it off with a V-Rub compound butter, but with a twist. Normally I do it in a microwave, melt that butter nice and quick. Today, we're gonna puff our chest out a little bit like real men. We're gonna make compound butter on the smoker. Already got our butter in a pan, half a stick. We throw it on there. Let it do its thing for about five minutes. Once it gets that melt, start putting that D-rub in it. All right guys, so our butter's starting to break down. We're sitting at 225 by the way. Um, like I said, got some D-rub for beef. I know it's for beef and that's what we target, especially our signature tri-tips and obviously brisket, but this has AP powers and it, it works wonders on fish. I had it on some uh, sea bass. It was out of this world. Had it on lobster. Out of this world. It, it's just a great. It's a, it's a great flavor complex. So use it on what you please. We're gonna add it to this and make this compound butter. I'm gonna go a little heavy on it because it is a half a stick of butter, and I want some extreme flavor. We're actually gonna be using. I have a little bit of it. I don't have the actual bottle, but shout out to Sasquatch Barbecue. This is Sasquatch Moss. We're gonna season the cod with this. And then as that's cooking on the cedar plank with a lemon on it, we're gonna be hitting it with some compound butter. So we got our little cod filet, it's nothing major, just something for me and Eda split, a couple bites. But uh, it's gonna be delicious. I mean, I'm not a huge fish guy. I don't know you guys watching uh, how much you love fish, but it's definitely worth a crack. Um, especially when you got a nice fresh cedar plank and you got some lemons and just wanna use some new rub and you just wanna get crazy with it, you wanna have fun. That's what it's all about. So let's get it going. I'm gonna season it with the moss, as stated before, moss by Sasquatch Barbecue and Spiceology. And if I had to give you a review of this, um, it, it's very zesty, it has a lot going on. It's got like, you know, there's red, red pepper in here, I'm sure. I mean, there's a lot going on, but it has a really like nice balanced herby taste. So we're gonna use that on this fish. I think it's gonna be great. I was going to use olive oil, but we're going to go no binder. The fish is, you know, it's got a nice enough surface. You don't need that. We're just going to do a nice little coat. We're nothing insane, but, you know, pretty good. I'm going to lay it down over here. I think this is going to bring an amazing little flavor complex to this. Combat a little bit of fishiness, maybe with a, with the fresh, fresh taste that this is gonna bring. I really do like the flavor combo, and then you add in that D rub with compound butter. Are you kidding me? On a cedar plank with lemons, we're gonna do the damn thing. So, first things first, before we throw this on, you want to make sure that your cedar plank was soaked. Um, depending on the size, I soak it in hot water. This went for about an hour, but it's it's a tiny plank. It might be a foot long. Uh, Primal Grilling makes it, so just to give you a quick look, that's what you're dealing with. Our fillet is about, I don't know, seven and a half, eight inches long. This is about a foot long, so if you guys are out there doing big fillets or you're, you know, you're working with something bigger and better, then you're, wanna gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna wanna use a bigger plank, and you're gonna wanna use, obviously, a bigger plank for a bigger fillet. So, might need to soak longer than an hour, but that's about where we're at on this, and it's smelling amazing you'll know by smell when your cedar is soaked properly so we're gonna crank this up to about 300 it, it's not gonna be a crazy long cook I mean you're really cooking this to 130 and honestly guys you're just looking for that flaky texture that fish kind of has when it's done but we want to be able to literally just put our fingers through this if we wanted to it's nice fresh white fish there's not really much else to say. It's a fillet. So we're going to know basically by sight, but we're looking for 130 internal temperature, and that's exactly where you want to be with cod. Um, I'm excited. So we're going to let that climb. We're going to take our olive oil here. And we're going to put it on this plank. We're only going to do the side that's facing up because that's what you want, obviously, touching the fish. Just going to get it on there. Kind of rub it in. Spread it out nice and even. You want a nice, even coat. Nothing crazy. 
Just coat that wood. By now, our pit boss has kicked up to 300. We're gonna put this plank right in there. Right now. Put the plank in here, nice and hot at 300. We're gonna give it about a minute or so, come up the temp a little bit, let that oil seep in a little bit. Then we're gonna hit it with the cod, and it's gonna be amazing. Let's get to it. So the plank, starting to come up the temp. It's smelling amazing. Now, you'll know it when you do it, guys. It's just an amazing aroma. Just gonna put that cod right on the middle. Let it do its thing, close her up. Keep our eye on it. Probe it in a couple minutes to see where it's at. Target temperature is 130. Don't forget we gotta hit it with that compound butter. So we'll be right back. Let's let it take a smoke bath and throw that. Shout out the Thermocrel. Awesome. You can flip it, it flips with you. I could go on for days about this thing. It's waterproof. It's ran by a AAA battery. And it's about 20 bucks on Amazon. The link will be below. You guys gotta check this out for sure. So I'm gonna probe this just to be sure. Around 100 degrees, I wanna, um, oh, perfect. Right around 100 degrees, I'm gonna chop this lemon. I'm gonna put a fresh lemon slice on there. And then I'm gonna put the compound butter on. Again, compound butter, we smoked it for a little bit, half a stick of butter. Um, we let it heat up, we put the rub in it, I'd say probably about a tablespoon. Um, and then we put it right in the freezer to let it kind of reform. And what you do is you take it out and you get something like foil or something to kind of apply pressure, get the, you know, get it solidified again. And then you, you end up with a result like this and it's literally butter again, but it's smoked and now it has the rub for beef in it. So, when you chop this, you're just gonna have a nice little sliver of butter to put right on top of that. But let's stop wasting time. I'm gonna chop this lemon. I'm gonna put a nice little lemon slice in the middle. And I'm gonna top it with some compound butter. This thing's gonna be phenomenal. We got about 30 degrees to go, guys. And it's gonna be flaky greatness. Let's get to it. Perfect. About yay thick. Nothing crazy. Right in the middle of the fillet. compound butter just kind of crack it it's not going to be perfect the flavor is we're just going to lay nice little chunks of compound butter on there hell oh. Got our TP19, probe her up, boom, 135, it's more than enough, it's probably more like 140, 130-ish, they say 130, it's done, so, some spots are a little more overdone, but that's okay, this thing's gonna flake apart, and I'm a firm believer in taking things just a little bit past when they're quote-unquote done, except for steak, I like my steak rare, this is gonna be phenomenal. Beautiful. Big shout out to Sasquatch Barbecue. This rub looks great. Got some D-Rub compound butter that melted down. We're just gonna set this right here. Take that off. Let's have to flake this bad boy out. Very good. I don't even have much to say. I'm just gonna go in for more. It's amazing. And I'm not a huge cod dude. Phenomenal. The lemon really balances it between the rub and the butter and 
the moss. I mean, like, there's a lot of flavor going on, but it's not too sultry because the lemon just brings, like, the perfect amount of zest. Phenomenal. It's great. I mean, and cod, cod itself is very, like, white fish. So it's not, it's not very hard on the mouth, you know, you just chew right through it. Very, very good. A lot of flavor. It's a tad bit fishy, but it's cod, you know what I mean? But I would highly recommend this. We finished chewing. Okay. So as a result of even taking a couple bites, it's definitely something you want to take a whack at. The cedar kind of comes through. I think that makes a huge difference. I did some uh, sea bass in the cast iron a couple weeks ago. And it was good, but it was just lacking this, this some kind of flavor that it brought to this cod that I really can't describe unless you just use a cedar plank. So I highly recommend using the cedar plank. Um, big shout out to Crafty Carnivore for giving me the cedar plank. Big shout out to Sasquatch Barbecue. Got a good rub here with the moss. Um, yeah, and if you're in the cod, definitely give a swing at this took about an hour or so I mean we rocked it at 300 then we rocked it at 250 it's about an hour or so cook pull it at 130 you're gonna get nice flaky buttery cod just like that it just breaks right apart it's just phenomenal so I hope you like this and if you do definitely follow the recipe like and subscribe and um, we're just proud to be providing you the best damn barbecue ever and we're glad that you guys are a part of it Subscribe and like as always, and thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the other side.